everybody and welcome to my channel. This is Patricia 1111. And so I welcome all the light workers, the light barriers, the warriors out there. And of course the star seeds, my family, my friends, my soul tribe family, welcome. So before we start the reading, we're gonna get into a mini meditation. So I, of course, I'm gonna invoke my higher self, the Holy Spirit, the universe, Mother Gaia to be here to sustain the reading. I'm also going to call in the archangels, the angels, the fairies, and last but not least, my ancestors. So all you need to do is take a deep breath in and just relax, okay? And I'll take care of the rest. Beautiful. Now I take a moment at this time to send from my mom, Joannina, and myself to send all of you out there, if you feel it through our heart chakra, to your heart chakra, a hug, a virtual hug to everybody out there. We love you. We send you love. We send you peace. We send you compassion. And again, my mom. Thanks everybody here for all the beautiful messages. She's still praying for you three times a day here on YouTube and also for the collective. If there's any comments you want to leave my mom or if you want to pray for someone else, just leave them in the, the comments below and I will relay the messages to her. Again, I want to thank everybody here for all the love and support. <clears throat> it's been a hell of a ride, right? <laughs> yeah, we've been going through a lot of like waves and the energies are really intense and it's amazing, but at the same time, it's very tiring at times. But I just want to say to everybody out there, thank you for all your love and support, especially for those of you that have been with me for a very long time. Thank you for showing up for me every week. I really appreciate all of you. For those of you that came halfway through or recent or new on my channel, welcome. For my community of 27 years, I got you back. I got your back, but you have mine too. And thank you so much for all being there. Now, I do want to just say out there everywhere, uh, be discerned, okay? I'm not giving any personal readings at this time. And uh, so out there on social media, there's people impersonating me on YouTube. So I did get verified on YouTube, but I did not get verified yet on Instagram. I don't know why. I asked for a couple of times and uh, it's not still not going through. But um, just remember, I will never, ever come to you in any show, social media, where it's Facebook, Messenger, where it's on Instagram, Twitter, whatever the case is, or here, I will never come and ask you for any money or for any readings. Okay, so please heads up on that and use your judgment, okay, because they'll have my pictures and everything. They're really good. 
uh, imposters. Um, but uh, there's, you know, Instagram is doing the best that they can. Um, you know, I reported them finally. And um, so thank you very much for those of you that reached out to me to let me know because I had no idea. <laughs> okay. So again, thank you all for all being here. And uh, let's get started with your readings. Be right back. Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from September 13th to the 19th of 2021. I hope that you're all doing well. Um, so how are you doing? I'm looking forward to do your reading and I'm looking forward to hearing all your beautiful and supportive messages. And uh, before we get started, I do have some channeled messages here for you. And uh, it may or may not resonate with all of you, but let's see how this happens. Okay, let's see now. Let me just... Uh, I don't, I don't want to forget the channel messages. That's why I'm giving them to you right away. So um, some of you need to let go of resistance. Uh, you uh, have to do things by the book. They don't, things don't have to be structured to, to all of you. Now, I don't know who this message is for. Uh, it's about letting go of structures and going with the flow. Um, yes, there's, you know, there's uh, laws out there in our 3D world, but there's also a lot of beautiful laws in the 5D, which is law of attraction, law of karma, law of the universal flow. And uh, yes, it's by doing, it's, it could be that it's about doing things by the book for some of you. For others of you, it's about letting go of, rich, of restrictions and letting go of everything that you know at this time. Okay, because the South Node is in Sagittarius till January of 2022. And it's about releasing everything that is karmic in your life, whether it's relationships, people, in the way that you're thinking, in the way that you do things. And it's about going with the flow, letting, going with the sea, going with the flow, okay? And just let, let, yeah, going with the flow and having no resistance. I'm sorry, it's just that there's a lot. And uh, it's about bringing joy into your life because by going with the flow, by understanding the universal flow, happiness, fulfillment, contentment will be coming to you. Or they are here with you at this time. So it's also, like I said, by the book, it depends. For some people, they need to go by the book in certain ways. Okay? And they don't want to see. Like they only see what they want to see in front of them. But there is a universal law. There is more to see than just that what you're seeing. And it's about really going with the flow. It's about going with the flow, letting things go with the flow. Okay, ebb and flow. And uh, it's about being joy in your life. It's about being happy. And it's about fulfillments and contentments coming towards you. So I hope that these messages helped. Okay, and now let's get started with your readings. Uh, we're going to take out your affirmation card, your animal totem card, your challenge of the week and your angel numbers okay Sagittarius so let's get started here let's see what your affirmation card is for the week Sagittarius okay freedom it's all about you right this card I feel is deeply about you your affirmation is, I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. And so it is. Now we're going to look at your animal totem. Got dog. Your animal totem this week is the dog, and this is Archangel Zariel that's with you this week. It says, Be disciplined in your home and community life. Be disciplined in your home and, commu and community life. Now we're going to see what is your challenge for the week.
Surrender to your full power, Sagittarius. Surrender to your full power. Your life is calling for you to step in to your full po power rather than playing it safe or playing it small. Right? So your life is calling you calling for you to step into your full po power rather than playing it small. So surrender to your full power is your challenge this week. And now we'll look at the angel numbers. What angel numbers will be with you this week? Sagittarius. Let's see. Okay. Let's take a look at them together. First one is God number two. I am diplomatic. I am diplomatic. I am diplomatic. And so it is. Sagittarius, you have great talent for finding solutions. Your intuitive and unbiased nature also allows you to see all sides of any situation and advise others towards the most fair and beneficial outcome. So you got number two. The next one is a sacred number, zero, zero, zero. I am a creator. I am a creator. I am a creator. And so it is. Sagittarius, you are one with the creator and these are, and there are no limits to what you can achieve. You have the ability to create something new and incredible in your lifetime here on earth. And the next one, last but not least, is I am unique. I am unique. I am unique. 999. Sagittarius, thank the past for your lessons and leave it where it belongs so that you could make the best of the life that is still waiting to be fulfilled by only you. So these are your numbers, 2000999. When you see these numbers, it will be a confirmation of this reading that I'm giving you. Okay, so let's put these on the side for now. And let's get started with your reading. This reading is for Sagittarius Sun. Anywhere that you have Sagittarius in your chart, this is your reading. Anytime you see this will be the right time for you. If the reading resonates, claim it. But if it doesn't resonate and you're confused, that means that maybe you're not in your sun sign this week. And to look at your rising, your moon, which is about emotions, Venus is about love and finances, and your north node is about your purpose. In this reading, I will show you your recent past, your current energy, your immediate future, what is hidden from you, and the possible outcome. And then I will clarify the cards in which Spirit wants me to clarify for you. And after that, whatever signs that show up in your reading, okay, will be a bonus after that. Okay, so stay tuned. And also stay tuned for the crystal cards, which I will explain to you also, give you also uh, what the healing properties are. Uh, then I will give you a sacred geometry card. And last but not least, a star, a star seed oracle cards. Okay, so let's get started here. Sagittarius. Let's look at the recent past. Your current energy. Okay, the overall energy is the Queen of Cups reversed. There's someone here in your midst. This could be you or someone around you that's very nurturing, very loving, very motherly energy. Okay, someone that is emotionally available here. 
could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but it doesn't have to be the sign. In the past, in recent past, you got the Six of Cups with the reverse with the King of Cups reversed. So in the past or, or in the recent past, you're someone here. This had to do with releasing nostalgic memories of the past. Okay, in your childhood. Okay, it's someone here that's not emotionally available. Uh, someone here that's maybe uh, moody at this time is not able to contain their energy or their emotions. And someone here that needs to fill their own cup. Someone here is reevaluating everything at this in the past here. Okay, how far they've come, maybe in their finances or in their relationships or whatever it is here. Okay, and being at crossroads. In the current energy, you got the Seven of Wands, the Three of Swords, and the Knight of Wands. Okay, definitely here someone is feeling heartbroken. Okay, there's sorrow here. Um, so there is some type of grieving that's taking place. It's been very hard. Uh, some of you feel that you can't, you didn't overcome a situation, but with the Seven of Wands, it shows that you will be overcoming this situation. And I do see some type of action or someone coming in here. Okay, so there is some type of action coming in. In the immediate future, you got the Seven of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. Dream big, Sagittarius. Dream whatever you want to dream. Make a dream board if you have to. Visualize, affirm it, keep repeating it. Because with the Seven of Cups, you have many options here, many goals, many dreams. And with the Ten of Pentacles, it's about having the fruit of life. It starts with gratitude, of course. But this is a new beginning in finances for you. Maybe in a project. Maybe this is about a, a strong foundation that's going to be taking place here. Okay, with the Ten of Pentacles. And with the Ace of Swords, it's about you seeing the clarity. Having your crown back where it belongs seeing the clarity and everything, communication, creative ideas taking place here. And what's being hidden from you is the Three of Cups reversed. Yes, there was a situation in the past here. There was a lot of interferences, people and places. And this is about releasing it. Some of you with the Ace of Cups reversed, you're really going within. You're really at this time going within, searching, trying to understand, trying to let love in, finding that unconditional love. Okay, but for, for you to get the abundance that you need. So now we're going to clarify the cards here. Let's clarify. Okay, let's look at the Queen of Cups in the overall. You've got Justice, Libra Energy. The Four of Cups, the Nine of Wands, Temperance. You came into your own reading. It's about being patient here. Now, it's about moderation. Now, this could be you or you're dealing with someone else as a Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be the sign. It could be a Libra, whatever. It could be any sign here, okay? The thing is that the matter is that you're trying to bring something into balance here. This could be about uh, rulings made in your favor. It's about the truth and nothing but the truth that's coming in here for you. Finally, rulings would be made in your favor. Definitely here, there's something that's being shown to you. And you have your guards up, basically. And some of you are making rash decisions about whatever that's showing up here for you. Okay, with the four of cups. You're not looking at it. You're not wanting to look at it. But I do feel someone here is really going within to really take a closer look at themselves or at the situation. But definitely here's something coming into balance, okay? So now let's look at the Six of Cups reversed. you got the King of Pentacles. The Ten of Swords reversed. The Queen of Cups again, the Nine of Cups reversed, the Devil reversed, the Ace of Swords reversed. Capricorn, Saturn energy. I'm sure Saturn is playing a big factor in your chart right now for some of you. Okay, you're going to overcome the situation. Whatever this was, there was uh, someone here that uh, maybe cut completely the past. Cutting someone from the past or cutting the past completely from you, okay? Or not having communication here. There's that type of energy around you. Something karmic took place. Definitely something karmic. More than one thing actually took place that got released from you. Okay? And what I do see is that there's some type of wish fulfillment that's coming in that's going to be granted to you. 
with the devil card capricorn energy this is some type of freedom that's taking place for you it could also be a divorce that they, that's taking place or a separation or some sort of some but there's definitely a breakthrough with the with the devil card reversed okay there's definitely a breakthrough and some type of freedom uh this could be about Again, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It doesn't have to be the sign. This could be you being stable, being reliable, success, victory here, emotionally available and grounded in a situation that's coming in for you. Okay. Now let's look at the King of Cups reverse. <clears throat> you got judgment. The Ace of Cups reverse twice. The Two of Wands, the Princess of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles again with the star. And let's look at this card. Sorry about that. And the King of Wands. <clears throat> There's definitely someone here that cannot use their emotions. They're not emotionally available. They're very, like, they're on a roller coaster ride when their emotions. And someone here is definitely, definitely, okay, definitely here looking at how far they've come. Something is still holding them back. They need to go within to find what they need to do. It's about going within, finding love within. There's a judgment that has to take place here or has taken place. And with this judgment is about going after you what you uh, going after what you want. With the star, Aquarius, and the Princess of Cups, there's a new emotional experience that will be taking place for you. And it's about having finding hope, faith, and inspiration, and knowing that your dreams could come true. And going after what you want with passion and conviction here. So this is showing up for you in the recent past till now. In the current energy, you got the seven of wands. The Three of Swords and the Knight of Wands. So let's look at the Three of Swords here. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Strength reversed. The High Priestess reversed. Tower. Yeah. Change is coming, definitely. Okay, so these are the cards that came out for your reading. For the Three of Swords, there's a heartbreak about having that fruit of life or having that stability or maybe it could be money or partnership, whatever this is, there's something unstable here. Someone here doesn't have the strength, is tired, doesn't have the courage, is not feeling well, Leo energy, doesn't have the self-confidence. Someone here is not following their intuition. And Pluto is coming in to make changes. Let's look at the Knight of Wands energy. You got the Knight of Cups, the Seven of Cups reversed, the Three of Wands, the Four of Wands. There is definitely someone here that is, uh, you know, wanting to share their emotions. They're coming in as Knights where this is you. Remember, you feel free to swap the energies around, okay, Sagittarius? This could be about you or someone you know, okay? Um, just use your judgment on this. And some type of res re re resent, uh, sorry, restlessness. That's also, someone's coming in with passion and adventure and love. But uh, what I see here is that uh, some of you, uh, this is not part of your forte. This is what I'm hearing. Okay. Let me just pick an extra card there for yeah it's not there, there there's no commitment with whoever that's coming in here for you if there's someone coming in here for you they're not coming in with any this is not part of like a person that you would maybe want to be with or date or whoever this person is it could be a friend could be anything uh whatever it is it's about uh lessons that are being taught right now so you're going through a lot of lessons and you need to know this okay and i know you know this sagittarius but you, I need to repeat to you, you are going through lessons at this time. And it's about higher learning and higher understanding. Maybe you're dealing with a Taurus. It doesn't have to be. Okay, but this person here is not coming in uh, with a commitment. Okay, there could not be a commitment because someone here is, is trying to get away with something. 
Okay, there's lies and deceit around the situation, whoever you're dealing with. Okay, and um, yes, it's about uh, putting up strong boundaries. Putting up strong boundaries. It's about um, setting new rules and what you want for yourself. New rules. And setting strong boundaries is what they're saying. You're going to rise above this, Sagittarius. You are. Maybe even in what you're doing for work. Okay, if this is a, has to do with for work or a business here. The Empress energy with the Queen, the the, uh, the Emperor energy with the, the uh, with, sorry, with the, the Queen of Wands is that the Phoenix rising from the ashes there. It's very magical energy. It's about maybe a, your commitment towards your work. Uh, it's about uh, having passion. It's about being outgoing. There is a huge transformation that's going in here. Some of you are going through a spiritual awakening. You got the Three of Wands, the Four of Wands, and the Angman upright. So uh, reversed. So this is about your dreams coming true. You're going to be moving past this. This is about your dreams coming in, your ships, whatever it is, whatever that you're seeing that's coming in for you. This is about a happy home, a strong foundation and a home. It's about happy events taking you home. There could be a, some type of proposal taking place. It doesn't have to be just about love. It could be about any type of proposal. It could be about buying a home, okay? And with the hang, it's about um, surrendering and going with the flow, okay? Letting go. There's a spiritual, someone here is definitely going through a spiritual awakening at this time. So now let's look at uh, what is being hidden from you with the Three of Cups reversed. You got the sun. You got the death card. Oof. Death and rebirth happening for you. That's for sure. The four of pentacles. The lovers. The two of swords. The magician. The nine of pentacles reverse. You let go of people in the past. People interference places. And you still are releasing now. Uh, people that were very codependent co towards you that needed you okay um because i see that you you know maybe you're evolving you're working on yourself such there is but people around you weren't you are releasing the past here you are definitely releasing the past people or places or situations here because there is some type of codependency you're still holding back why because you're indecisive about what it could be a divine union that's coming towards you it could be a lover a friend it could be anybody here for you but there is indecisiveness, Gemini energy. What you're going through is a death and rebirth with the, sun, the death and the sun card. It's death and rebirth. Ending is a new beginnings. Happiness is coming in here for you. Okay. And you are at this time in your thoughts manifesting. So make sure they're very positive. Now let's look at the immediate future. You got the seven of cups, the ten of pentacles and the ace of swords. Let's look at the seven of cups energy. You got the Eight of Pentacles. You got the Two of Pentacles reversed. The Six of Cups reversed. You're still, you're, you are definitely letting go of the past completely here. Someone is. The Ace of Pentacles reversed. The Two of Cups reversed. Oof. Okay, and the Queen of Swords reversed. Let's look at the Ten of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords. Please give me a card for that. Success. Okay, you are releasing something of the past here or someone of the past. You have a lot of dreams and aspirations and you're working very hard. You're putting a lot of energy in something that you truly want here. Okay, very, very good. And you, there is, um, like I said, you are some some of you are dropping the past completely or, completely or people or situations from your past that did not serve you, that caused you a lot of pain. Uh, people that promised you stability or anything did not come in. And uh, these energies were not in your vibration. And with the Queen of Swords reverse, someone here cut off somebody completely. Okay? So there was a cut off from the past. When I asked about the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords together, guess what they gave me? The Six of Wands. There's success here for you. Okay? This is about the fruit of life. This is about being recognized, being rewarded, and being on top of the, you know, on top of the world. Okay? Definitely. Now let's look at the Ace of Cups reversed here for you. You got the Ace of Wands upright, the King of Pentacles reversed, the Empress reversed, the Ten of Wands, 
the four swords. Why is the king the cup? Okay. The moon. Okay. So someone's still, even though that you're, you know, you're trying to move ahead, if it come, if it has to do with, with your finances, there's still a lot of you are still healing, okay? Uh, you're healing, you're going within, you're trying to find your, your unconditional love, finding that loving yourself first, okay? Someone here that's not emotionally available is not able to bring to, to their emotional at this time, going through an emotional coaster. This is what I see. There's been a lot of like uh, obstacles and obstacles and obstacles for you. But that's normal for the, those of you that are going through obstacles because you need to understand the South Node is in Sagittarius right now. And karmically for 18 months, you are going to go through a lot of obstacles and you're going to be getting through a lot of tests because spirit and the universe only wants what's good for you. Okay, so there's going to be an ending to this because there was a lot of missed opportunities, Venus energy in your finances or in your love. There was a lot of missed opportunities here that took place. Okay, you're going to be coming out. And why that, that took place? Because it was not in divine timing. You're going to be coming out of this situation, okay? There's going to be a time that you're going to need a, to rest. Maybe you're healing at this time. Maybe it has that to do with a breakup. It does, whatever it is, someone here is going to be coming out of a healing process. In that, okay, you went through a lot of difficulties. The moon, Neptune energy in Pisces, the moon is about receiving what's yours. Something that you're not seeing, there's a secret here, okay? Universal secret, let's put it this way. Uh, but you've been challenged. There's been a lot of, like, uncertainty, okay? Uh, you know, uncertainty, fears okay distractions not being able to see in front of you neptune is very difficult especially like you should check out your chart sagittarius because neptune is a big part in your chart but what's going to come in with the moon energy and this is what spirit is saying is that you're going to be receiving what's yours in divine timing of course what you have is the ace of wands the moon and the wheel of fortune is still following you around this wheel of fortune jupiter energy okay that's your that's your planet Sagittarius is about second chances it's about ruling uh, the wheel turning in your favor if you truly want it it's here for you okay if you truly want it and it's about second chances it's about luck something destined and faded and passion within you and all around you and you the moon is the moon goddess will give you all of this true Underneath the deck, you have the five of wands reversed, the three of swords reversed, and the world. Look at this. You are going to be healed. Your heart chakra will be healed. Okay? And you're releasing people that want to fight with you, want to argue with you, or energies that are tight. Whatever it is, competition, ego, you're releasing it. And you're going to come into complete the world. This is about learning your life lessons. There will be endings and new beginnings taking place for you it's beautiful to see okay so now let's look at the signs that came through in your reading so we will have a bonus i hope you enjoyed your reading you have pisces venus energy is very strong in your reading in, in your reading so those of you that know your chart venus look out to see what's happening with venus that's about love and finances Scorpio, Gemini, Aries, Taurus, Leo, Libra, Sagittarius, you came into your own reading. Could be that you're dealing with another Sag, Aquarius. Do I have Capricorn? Capricorn. Okay, let's see how many signs you have here. You got eight, nine, ten. Ten signs show up in your reading, and these are the ones that I'm doing. 
Remember, this is what it's all about. It's only the signs that show up in your reading, all right? Uh, if the sign hasn't shown up, then that uh, that part of the sign is not supposed to be in your reading this week. Now, this could be about anybody. This could be about you. It could be how you're feeling towards someone or someone's feeling towards you. Just follow your intuition on this. This is heart to heart, soul to soul. Okay, Sag, my beautiful Sagis. I know you get a bad rep out there. Uh, a lot of people I hear, you know, that, that come to me that are Sagittarius and say, you know, uh, the tarot readers, I'm, I'm not going to say that because I I don't want to say that. But anyway, but what I've been hearing, this is what I've been hearing, is that a lot of people get give a bad rap, rap to Sagittarius. But, you know, uh, you know, it's it's people need to understand, uh, they, they need to see the bigger picture for Sagittarius and, and who they are, okay? And uh, you are beautiful people, amazing people, amazing people. And I love you all. You are all for me. I love all the collective, whether whatever sign you are, it does not matter. Things happen sometimes. Sometimes we react to things. We do things we don't mean to. We make mistakes. This is all part of life, and it's all about learning. And people need to stop using their ego on YouTube. I will say that. They need to stop using their ego to put uh, the signs down. And I've been getting that from a lot of the signs. And it's sad when people do that. But that's also their learning and their karma as well. And I wish them well, but they need to stop doing that. Okay, so let's do this. You also got Libra. So you, did I say Libra? Okay, so you have, no, you do have, let me wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, you have 11 signs. So your only sign that you're missing here is is it you have um, virgo so there's no virgo for you okay so sagittarius if you're dealing with a pisces they're indecisive at this time they're fantasizing they're saying that you will be together again pisces if you're dealing with a pisces such and it's hard for me to explain things. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, Sagittarius, they're asking you to trust them. They said that they can't stop thinking about you. I can't walk away. They're asking you to wait for them. If you're dealing with a Gemini, Sagittarius. They're, they're in doubts right now. They're doubting. You give me so much to look forward to. I've been having weird dreams about us. I won't let you go. Be patient with me, please. And they're also angry. If you're dealing with a Aquarius, Sagittarius, Oh boy. You will always be my secret love. You're feeling annoyed at this time. I am still moved by you. They're feeling excited. They're also blocking. So they're going back and forth now they're feeling, but yeah. And what else? I am overcoming my fears. If you're dealing with the Capricorn Sag. There's some type of secret there. You are the only one who truly gets me. I am sorry I triggered you. They're daydreaming. And I just want to I just want to go back in time. Well, we have a soul recognition. If you're dealing with an Aries, Sagittarius. I want your attention. There's a lot of regret here. I don't want to miss my chance with you. They have repressed emotions at this time. You are old flames. There's passion here. And no one else matters now. If you're dealing with a Taurus, Sagittarius, they're feeling hopeful. They have guilt. Guilt. 
I am choosing you. I miss you more than you know. They're also cold at this time. And I regret how I handled things before. If you're dealing with a Leo Sagittarius, you are the one. They're controlling. My nerves get the best of me sometimes. I'm trying to figure things out. Your words speak to me like no others can. If you're dealing with a Libra, you hit me out of nowhere. I want to talk to you. If I had only known then what I know now. Our eye contact is insane. If you're dealing with a... No, I said... I, I had Libra. Did I say Libra? Wait, now I'm stuck. I forgot. I got Taurus. Is this Libra? Yeah, this was Libra. Okay, perfect. I only have eight of the signs. I only have not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of the signs. So Cancer is missing here. And there's someone else. I don't remember who it was. Okay, so if you're dealing with another Sagittarius or this is how you're feeling, to, uh, Saji, let's look at this. I want a future with you. They're feeling wishy-washy at this time. I am making plans. I thought about reaching out, but I don't know what to say. You deserve more. I am working on myself. The changes are real and you change my whole direction. So this is your bonus round. I hope you enjoyed it. Now we're going to look at the crystals that you will need and what the healing properties of it are. Sagittarius. Okay, these cards want to fly. Let's see what's going on here. So the first card you got is Sard. Okay, I hope I'm, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to say this right. Sard Onyx. So it's S-A-R-D, Sard Onyx, O-N-Y-X. I don't know if something is silent in there. English is my third language, so I have no idea. So it's sardonyx, and this is how it looks like. And the appearance is opaque, abandoned in black, red, brown, or clear. In the healing properties, it promotes integrity and virtue. It attracts good fortune and friendship. It brings stability and happiness to relationships. It encourages inner strength and willpower. It awakens stamina, vigor, and energy, and helps to mentally process information. And the chakra that is that it works on, it's the root and the solar plexus. And so what it does is absorbs negative energy. It helps to ground and purify energies, and is stimulating and energizing. And the next crystal you got is selenite. Appearance is translucent in white, brown, pink, orange, blue, green, or clear. The healing properties of selenite is aids clarity of mind and higher guidance, enhances meditation and spiritual work. It benefits crying and assists telepathy. It creates a peaceful, safe, and quiet home. It shows unresolved issues and lessons and assists in judgment, insight, and direction. And this, uh, it, for the chakra, it varies on the color that you use. But it says it opens the crown chakra. It protects the aura and the mind from influences. It opens the mind to see the bigger picture, it stabilizes emotions, and allows understanding of the subconscious. So selenite and sard, sard, sard onyx. <laughs> if you need these crystals underneath the deck, underneath the deck, underneath the video, there is two websites that uh, you can have a percentage off of my name on it. And uh, they are having cells at this time. I know that Earth uh, Family Crystals are having cells at this time. And uh, if you're looking for something specific, all you need to do is write to them. My Soul Tribe family, they'll take care of you if you want to support them. It's there for you. And now let's take a card for your sacred geometry to see what is in store for you.
Sorry. Too many. Uh, this, okay, so I will choose one of the cards that came through, but you did get um, number 16, which equals to a 7, which is great. And it's about it's uh, laying your foundations. So it's about laying your foundation and create, creating harmonious surroundings around you. Number 40 and number 16. Okay. Okay, I just saw an angel. <laughs> it's like, okay, hi. Um, no, I just, you know, sorry. I'm just uh, distracted for a second. It was nice to see. Uh, so it's about creating harmony in your life and it's about laying your foundations okay so these are the two of the cards that came out but the one that i will be reading to you is number seven and this is a master number and the cards like just jump out of the deck like wow it's like with conviction <laughs> you know like okay okay i got it i got it i'm coming okay so you got rebirth okay so this is about transformation reweaving and reactivating and this is your confirmation if you want to read uh, if you want to um not confirmation, sorry. Your affirmation. In, yeah, affirmation. If you want to uh, repeat after me, okay? So it's, my spiritual and physical bodies are reborn and reweaved at a cellular memory level. My spiritual and physical bodies are reborn and reweaved at cellular memory level. Again, my spiritual and physical bodies are reborn and reweaved at cellular memory level okay this will be a long reading because i need to read this for you the rebirth card acknowledges your need for transformation by reweaving re reactivating and cleansing your dna patterns it is now time to let go of the old ways of thinking sagittarius release the belief system you have held on to for so long to allow your body mind and spirit to shift you have held on to okay wait a second <laughs> uh, okay Okay, let me just, re it's not time to let go of the old ways of thinking. Release the belief system you have held onto for so long to allow your body, mind, and spirit to shift in accordance with the inevitable changes that are coming. As we ride the waves of an increase in universal vibration and frequency, as well as dealing with interrelationships within ourselves, family, and business, we need to keep up with the forever changing shifts that are becoming an everyday occurrence. If you have noticed an unhealthy change in your way of life, it is time to make changes now. And the practical application of this card, by adapting to new frequencies and different ways of thinking and doing, we can open our hearts to new understandings and anchor fully into our body of light to support us in our inevitable ele ele evolutionary changes and shifts. It is not time to, be, to truly be conscious of looking after our body. It is a temple that houses our soul and to make the most of the short time we get to spend as physical beings. We need to watch what we breathe and ingest. Stay away from toxic substances and be mindful of our emotional state of being. A more positive mindset will do wonders for your spirit and physical body. It is important to know and acknowledge that our thoughts are powerful. The thoughts are energy and what we perceive we create. As our bodies contain around 60% water, we have the ability to change our cellular structure structure as water stores memory this has been proven through the work of Maz mazaru okay wait a second maz aru emoto it is time to create a more harmonious lifestyle by eating more healthful exercising changing our way of thinking and meditating and the crystals that you will need for this is high air Kramer diamond selenite so her Kramer diamond and selenite Okay, and the animal totems for this is the snake and the phoenix shedding your skin and phoenix is rising above from the ashes. So this is beautiful. You're going through a rebirth, Sagittarius. Yeah, and it's going to be fantastic. You just need to go with the flow and not, and not do things by the book, right? It depends when it goes by the book, okay? That's, that it depends, but for this particular situation... It's about going with the flow so that your wishes could be fulfilled. And you deserve that, Saj. You do. You got the well and Orca elders. Share your song. Frequency of sound and diving deep. And this is what you're doing. You're diving deep into your emotions at this time. Diving deep into your heart. If you want to listen to on YouTube also, well or Orca, frequency of sound, 
it might do something some beautiful things that might happen for you very magical energy here and uh again sagittarius thank you for all being here um uh, don't forget to uh, comment like share and subscribe know that i have your back and i love you all all this shall pass just go with the flow let the universal law universal law uh law of karma law of attraction law of everything come in for you because you are going to have what you need and remember that we are one and we are love and i have your back and i love you take care and i'll see you next week bye bye